Hi first graders, we're back for some more math and thinking about the number nine. I hope you all did the dice game like I encouraged you to do on Monday, she says with strong encouragement. Okay, here is um, more problems about taking away nine, subtracting nine. And remember, I like to, last time we were doing addition and we were moving some over to make 10. And now we're doing some subtraction and, and it still could be moving, um, thinking of it in terms of 10. So let's see how this goes. So here we have 16 take away nine. And we're trying to think, what is that? So if I put 16 up here, and we're finding the other partner. Well, 10 and 6 make 16. Do you remember what we did to make um, to find out the partner for 9? We move 1 over. And so 9 and 7 make 16. So the if I was to take away 9, it would leave 7. That's just one more. They're saying do some five groups as well. So we could also do a picture like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two five groups. Sixteen is two five groups and a six. One, two, three, five, and six. Now we're going to take away nine. So that is one five group and four. We don't quite take away ten, right? And we have five, six, seven left. And we can write the complete number sentence on the line. So we can, you could write the answer here, but they want you to write out the whole sentence. Sixteen take away nine equals seven. Lots of ways to think about how to do this problem. 12 take away 9. We could think of it like this. What's the missing partner? If this was 10, it would be 2, but it's 9, so it's 3. So we know 12 take away 9 leaves 3. Or we could do, we could show 12 with five groups, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and it's 12, so that's just two more, 10 and two. And now we're gonna take away nine, five. Oh, look at that. If we'd taken away 10, it would have been two, but if we take away nine, it is one more, it is three. 12, Take away 9 equals 3. 12 take away 10 would be 2. 12 take away 9 is 3. I'm going to let you do the last one by yourself, but I would like to make sure that we are thinking. I showed you the addition connections. Let's, let's show. Um, Let's show some of the um, subtraction connections. Let's start with um, 10. Take away 10 is, um, and 10 take away 9. Let's see what that equals. 10 take away 10 equals 0. 10 take away 9 equals 1. Let's do 10 take away 9. 10 take away 9 equals 1. Should I do that right? I hmm, I think I'm getting myself muddled up with how I'm doing this. 10 take away 10. Oh, I know why. The next number I wanted to take away was 11. 11 take away 10 equals 1, right? 11 take away 10. 11 is 10 and 1 equals 1. 11 take away 9 equals, 
we give 1 over to it, it equals 2. 12 take away 10 equals 2. 12 take away 9. How much do you think it's going to be? You know, you can always use your math rack. 12 take away 9 is 3. But there is a pattern. You can see that it's one more when it's taking away 9 compared to 10. So you could look at that pattern, or you could use your math rack. Or here they're having you draw pictures, which to me is just like the math rack, right? So in this one, it's going to be 19. So 19 is the total, and 9 is here. What's the missing number? Yes, I think you know. You could do 19. You could do groups of 5 for 19. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Take away 9, and that leaves 9 and 1, 10. Strategies, ways to do subtraction with the number 9. Really, lots of practice is the way to really start seeing the patterns. That's the truth. More practice you do, the better it is. Guess what? More practice. Here we go. <laughs> All right, complete the subtraction sentence to make them true. 12 take away 9. All right, you can use your math rack, and then you just take away 9 and you'll see it's 3. You can just use your math rack. If you've seen a pattern and you can use that, go ahead. 12 take away 8. 12 take away 8. Let's take away 8. Huh, 4. 11 take away 7. Take away seven, four. You know you can double check because you know nine plus three is twelve. Eight plus four is twelve. These are the parts of eleven. If you know your parts, then it goes very fast. But sixteen, oh boy, sixteen. Fifth, ten, sixteen. Sixteen, take away nine. There we go. I'm going to take the 9 away, and I've got 6 and 1. I've got 7. Fill in your sheet. Use your math rack. Or use your brain. Both are good. One isn't better than the other. It's all good. Our story. 10 snowflakes fell on Sam's mitten, and 6 fell on his coat. Nine of the snowflakes on Sam's mitten melted. Oh my goodness, so much information. I think we need to start making the picture. Ten. Look at that. They used the word ten. They didn't use the number. They used the word ten. Ten. Ten snowflakes. Shall I just draw snowflakes? I could do dots if it was too complicated, but I think I can do snowflakes. One, two, three four, five. You know, this isn't a great snowflake. You know why? There's six sides to a snowflake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten snowflakes fell on Sam's mitten, and six fell on his coat. Let's do his coat down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you see how many snowflakes we have? We have ten and six. I think you can add that in your head, but let's find out what they want to know. Nine of the snowflakes on Sam's mitten melted. Oh, that means I have to get rid of nine of the ten. So I'm just going to put a line through it. Nine melted. 
how many snowflakes are left. There we go. So, and they want me to write a number sentence for it. So altogether, there were 16 snowflakes. We worked that out, right? Because it was six plus 10. And nine melted. So how many are left? Six and one. Seven. I hope we can get to a point where I am not showing you this and you just read the question and you think of how you're going to draw it. That's what I'd like to see. And that is it for Wednesday's math. Yay! All right, friend. How about a little more, um, how am I doing for time? How about a little more dice, dice work? Um, this is what I'd like you to do. I want you to take away, practice taking away, let's do 10. No, should we do 10? Let's do nine. Okay. So I'm going to roll two dice, and I'm going to add them together and add 10. So that would make that 17. 5 and 2 is 7. I'm adding 10, 17. And then I'm always going to take away 9. Let 17 take away 9. If you're not sure, 17... 17, take away 9, leaves 8. Do it again. Roll the dice. Ooh, I got 6. I'm going to add 10 to it. So make that 16. And now I'm going to take away 9. Is this kind of complicated? Ah, it's good. 16, take away 9. 16, take away 9. 17 take away 9 was 8. 16 take away 9. 7. Last one I'll show you. Oh, 6 again. What am I going to add to it? 10. So that will be 16. If I had a little, maybe I'll have a little paper here so I remember. I roll the dice. And I'm adding 10, 16. And then I'm taking away 9. I'm taking away 9. I'm adding 10. I'm taking away 9. 16, take away 9. Well, that's the same problem. That's 7. All right. Practice rolling dice. Add 10. Then take away 9. And just do that so that your brain gets really good at finding those patterns. All right, see you next time. Work hard. We're going to have two weeks of break, so I'm asking you to work extra hard this week.